Hey, it's Rob. Leave a message. Bring over the junk you want to unload. It's garage sale time. For brunch, we've got some slow smoke back bacon, fruit kebabs, some funky barbecued eggs, and pancakes with apple toffee. See you at 10, okay? This is not a drill. It's time to grill. Action! Brunch on the barbecue. Great for garage sale. I'm going to do some pancakes and some apple topping. Every year, the whole neighborhood gets together and we have this giant garage sale. And after that, just a few of the buddies come back to my place for brunch. Some melted butter here and some apples. So, I've got to flavor these babies. I have some nutmeg here. And now a little bit of nutmeg goes a long way. So. We'll just use that. That's my middle note, okay? Some cinnamon. We're going to go up a little higher on those note scales here. Here we go. And for sweetness, brown sugar. Mm-mm. So I'm just going to let that simmer onto my pancake. Pancake batter, two eggs, do a little whisk, whisk, whisk. Secret ingredient, buttermilk. This adds a little tang. All right, dry ingredients now. Pre-sifted flour, baking soda, baking powder, sugar, caster sugar, granulated sugar, either will work, depends on the side of pond you're from, and a little touch of nutmeg, and of course, always some salt. So we always go wet into dry. And this is the only time when lumpy is a good thing. We've got the tang of the buttermilk. Here we go. Female bacon. Mm -mm. Female bacon, otherwise known as Canadian back bacon. Gonna use a little olive oil here. We're gonna make a rub together here, guys. All righty. It's a very lean cut of meat, so I've got to get all my flavor that I need from my spices. Start with a little brown sugar, a little allspice here. And again, I want to start rubbing all of that in. I'm going to slow smoke this, so I need to make sure that I have all of my spices in there. Mmm. See, look at that. Cinnamon. Pinch of nutmeg.
pan chilies. Now, if you don't like it as hot, back off on these babies. But if you like it hot, be my guest. Make sure you get it all in there. Go heavy on this one, guys, because you'll really want the flavor coming on, and it's going to come out so well on a slow, smoking barbecue. And last but not least, a little bit of salt. Again, rub it all in there. You can just you can smell it. You can taste it. Now. Into my baggie. Just before I let her go, a little bit of veg oil still. And I'm gonna marinate this puppy for three hours. You can go as long as you want here, guys. 24 hours is not gonna hurt you at all. And again, get that last little turn in there. And I've got a ton of time on my hands now. So I'm going to go after the garage sale. Woohoo! Beat him down to five bucks. He wanted ten, but I beat him down to five. I'm feeling really good about that. Those guys are still out there, but somebody's got to cook. My pea bacon's been sitting down, marinating for about three hours now. Mm, you can just smell all of that coming together. Mm. That's gonna smoke so well. I can just smell all of the flavors coming together. Well, what do I need next? I need my, my hash browns. Now, I just buy, these, I just buy the store-bought stuff. I don't worry about this. I need some, I need some onions, I need some, some butter. Pretty simple stuff here. All right. I'm just spraying this baby down to make sure no sticking takes place. Want them to be nice and golden brown. Center here. Onions all over. This tastes good already. I just can feel it. Make sure we season. Never forget the season. So important. Paprika. That color is going to come out really well once they're finished. Golden brown color plus the paprika. Never forget my pepper. Do a little shake here, make sure they're all together, all the flavors are there. Little pouch. How easy is this? Onto my grill. It's hash brown time. Now I want to know if my grill's hot enough. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. Yeah, that's good enough. That's the temperature I want it at. Any hotter, it's just going to start burning. Hash browns straight on, 25 minutes, halfway through the process, do one little flip. All right, my fast stuff, onto my slow smoke. Look at this grill, baby. Half off, half on, OK? But I got to get to my wood chips, which is going to be really important here. I got some apple wood chips soaking. Want to get that in there. Now, we basically have this garage sale every year, and I basically try to find the funkiest, the weirdest things I possibly can find. I think I got it locked down this year. What this is going to act as is my slow smoke. I have the wet for the slow, the dry, my tinder. Basically, all the dry stuff is for tinder. This will start the process right away. That's why we have the dry chips here. 
So we have a nice combination of wet and dry. It's a little pouch. Holes in, so my smoke has a place to escape. Here we go. Now, we're using indirect heat here. I've got high heat on this side. This burn is completely off at this point. What I want to do is I want to drop that right in, okay? This is going to have to smoke. We're going to have to close my lid, okay? Indirect heat we're using. All I want now at this point is some smoke. Close my lid and wait for some smoke. Now the barbecue is filled with smoke. I have to work really quickly at this point. On nice and quickly, see all that smoke? All right, I've turned this side down now to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 100 degrees Celsius. Let the grill do the work. Anyways, where are those guys? This will win me the competition and make my wife cry. <laughs> Give me a moment. On to pancakes. My topping first. Warm up my maple syrup. Pancake time. Note to self, don't use the grill, you use your pan. Last baby on. Oil to keep warm. On to the kebabs. Do a nice, simple little cut. Just want some nice little pieces that'll go well on the grill. Get some bananas cut here. Now, I've got everything here in pretty much the same size. That's gonna help in our cooking process. Everything will cook at the same time. Pretty simple stuff here. Wooden skewer, very, very important. Has to be soaked because you don't want them to burn when they're on the grill. Little strawberry action here. There we go. Strawberry on. Bring my Bowl over from plate. Little butter here, little melted butter. This will help once you get it onto the grill. It won't stick, A, and B, it won't burn on you. Now a little bit of our cinnamon and sugar mixture. Wind's helping us to get all of that on there at this point. Perfect, thank you, Wind. Let's do a few more. Hash browns, they've been on for about 25 minutes. They're time to come out. Kebab time. These are gonna take no time at all, about a minute and a half. I 
Again, lid up, no lid down on these babies. High heat, searing time. Bob's off. What about our pork? Ah, voila. Perfectly cooked. Pork off. Hey, Rob, smells great. Great. What took you guys so long? Woo! Go for it. Hey, guys. Hey. How are you? Guys, yeah, make yourself comfortable, please. Right. please yeah. Sounds good. Come on, guys. Thanks. Have a seat. Okay. Oh, jeez. Smell this. This is beautiful. Yes. Gonna do a little mix on this now. A little parsley. You wanna make everything look pretty at the end. I don't care who you are, that's just the way it is. Touch more, just leave that alone. On to my female bacon. Ta-da! Look at this. It's well rested now. I'm ready to cut into it. I've basically let it rest so all the juices go back to its natural places. So it will be nice and juicy. Wow, look at this shot. The rub has just started to penetrate the skin. All of the flavors right here. Let me get another slice off here. Mmm. Starts off hot. And it really has a nice sweetness at the end. What a good job. Hey, Malin, can you grab me those eggs, please? Sure. Here you go. Ah, uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Alrighty, eggs in a muffin tray. Let me just garnish these babies and throw them on the grill. Ah, Caesars, thank <laughs> you. So, red pepper action on these babies. Little chive. This is gonna work well on the grill. It'll come up nicely and you can taste that little onion in the back. And I'm gonna do onions two ways now at this point. Chives. And last but not least, some shallots. Okay. And onto my grill. Egg time. I'm gonna turn my grill into a conventional oven. Nice high heat. Put my eggs on for three to four minutes. I like them nice and soft. Three minutes for me.
perfect three minute egg. Nice and soft in there. Mmm, that's good. And now it's time to eat. 